And welcome back. Well, this student is studying to be a medical laboratory technician. It's a job that's in high demand right now. Medical lab techs play a crucial role in the detection, diagnosis, and treatment of diseases. It's a great job to consider because employment in this field is expected to skyrocket. How cool is that? Tammy mm -hmm. Martin is a medical lab tech student right now at Herzing University, and she is here with Brady Rogers. He's a lab tech and chair of the school's program. Nice to have you guys Serena. here. I mean, the future is really bright for this particular occupation, right? There's a good reason to get trained yeah, in this yeah. field. Yeah. Oh, and I, I've always felt that way. That's why I started in it about 12 years ago is and has enjoyed every minute of it. So, so. who employs a, a medical laboratory technician? Where are these students finding jobs? That can be anywhere where diagnostics is needed. Um, uh, uh, the hospitals, of course, uh, there are places called reference labs, which don't actually take patients, but they're the ones that when you go to your local doctor, they receive the, the tests. And so they do those there. Some of the, um, uh, some of the physicians are opening up little teeny labs in their, their facilities where they have an MLT or a med tech, which is what I am, um, running just a couple machines there on their site. Um, and so that's, it's, it's open to a lot of different possibilities. Mm -hmm. And the last time you were here on the show, you had just opened the new lab. Yes. So how's it going? How do the students like it? I think it's exciting. Uh, one of the main reasons that we do this is because we like hands-on working. It's not that we don't like to open up the book and memorize all the stuff, which we have to do anyway. But I think they're enjoying it. But that's one of the reasons I asked Tammy to come. Uh, she signed up for the MLT program before we had an MLT program. Um, she's in her final semester, which means she's actually practicing on site. Um, and uh, she was uh, in that simulation course I told you about last time where I gave him a sample and gave him a fake doctor's order and sat back and let them work. So. Well, and I want to ask you, Tammy, um, why did you decide to, to go into this field and what do you actually do? Because I think a lot of people watching are like, mm -hmm. okay, I want to do that. Well, what does a medical lab tech actually do? Um, I decided to get into this field because I love science. Um, I also love the idea of helping people. And this allows that continuously challenging and like intellectually stimulating thing with the side of the interpersonal rewards that you get from helping people. And I get samples, um, like blood samples, for example, from the phlebotomists, and I run the test of the doctor's order on like the chem analyzer, or you know, when you are like anemic, or the doctor tells you you have iron deficiency anemia, I'm the one who runs those tests and look at the smears or makes the smears, and then gives those results to fascinating yeah. I would yeah. think so you're a real critical part in in that diagnosis without yes. jobs like yours it just doesn't happen that you need to complete that chain yes mm -hmm. so why did you decide to choose Herzing what made you pick Herzing you know because as Brady, Brady said they barely had the program put together by then right um, well I knew that I wanted to be in the MLT program and there's not a lot of campuses in the area that offer it mm -mm. so when I heard that Herzing was starting one I went and took a tour and you know, when I was there, it was a really warm, like, family-friendly atmosphere, and they make you feel like you're a part of a family and not just somebody who's there. So between that and knowing that you don't have to have a wait list for, like, your classes, your clinicals, you don't have to, like, take a petition to sign up to take them, that if they accept you as a student and you're in the program, you know that you're going to be able to complete it as long as you do your part of the work in a certain amount of time mm -hmm. and that was really important to me. So let's say you have the training like like Tammy has, then does Herzing do anything to help these students then find work to actually find a job? We do. A, a large part of what our creditors look for is how many of your students get jobs because what they do want to base this on is that tells them how good of a job we're doing. So we have a career services department whose sole purpose is something I would never do in a lifetime, which is to help people find jobs. I'm t terrible, I don't interview well, I don't do <laughs> resumes well, I work in a lab, that's what I do. Um, but she is out there on all the different areas and they come in and she works with their resumes and how should it look and, and, <coughs> and goes step by step even after they've had the job, we keep up and, and, and find out what's going on with them. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And you're yeah. in your final semester, you're training in a hospital lab right now. Yes. Yeah, so how exciting is that? Um, it's actually really exciting. I mean, it sounds kind of nerdy to some people, but when you take everything that you've learned so far and you actually get to do the hands on and run the tests and the experiences, it's, it can't be, you know, replaced from, you know, a textbook. So it's, 
curling. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think for people who look back on, on, on school, high school maybe, or middle school, and they like the science, they like mm -hmm. learning mm -hmm. and discovering things, or looking through a microscope, or doing experiments, I mean, th then maybe that's your passion, and mm -hmm. this is something to consider. I bet you have a lot of people who uh, maybe already have a career, but want to make a transition or we a do. change. Yeah. And, and this is a great program for them to consider, because the future's so bright for career opportunities. We, we, we've had a number of students who have had master's degrees in other areas who have come to do this program. We have a couple who have had bachelor's degrees. Um, we've had a couple who are working at the hospital now, um, but you can't move up in this field until you're certified. Um, and so they could be the phlebotomist or they could be working in the sessions. They cannot move up without this. Um, and so a lot of, of the students come in because that's what they, they want, you know, mm -hmm. to continue to move up, which, um, which is, was one of the things that I, I, I love it. So you know. fantastic. <laughs> and for people to find more information, they can visit your website, which is fantastic. It was nice to have both of you here. Here's how you can get in touch with <coughs> Herzing University. Their Brookfield campus is located on South Executive Drive. The phone number is 262-649-1710. And the website is herzing.edu. And you can see that there it says slash Brookfield to find more. Thanks again. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate your time. <laughs>